So good morning to one and all. Today we shall discuss one of the most important aspects of elements of electrical engineering and that aspect is related with the protection aspect. Uh, that is categorized in the category of electrical installation, uh, safety and the protection. Uh, myself, I am Dr. Siddharth Joshi, working as an assistant professor in the electrical engineering department at Pandit Dindayal Energy University, uh, Gandhinagar, Gujarat, India. Uh, these are the points that I am going to cover in this uh, short video related with the fuse, a miniature circuit breaker that is MCB, then earth leakage circuit breaker that is ELCB and other concepts are MCCB. Now as far as the first aspect of the fuse that this is not new thing. If you can go back in your primary school days you will be able to know that what is a fuse it's a big uh, pale white color element which is used to interrupt the current if the over current will come at our home and it is usually installed with our uh, meters or metering circuit after the meter you may find this fuse at our home so fuse is a current interrupting device which opens the circuit by fusing the element when the current in the circuit exceeds a certain value that certain value is known as the threshold value. It is used for overload and short circuit protection in the low voltage installations. Usually it has been used in uh, you can say three phase for 40 connections for 40 volt and single phase to 30 volt. Now as far as the fuses are concerned there are certain drawbacks but there are some points that is to be understood by the students and the listeners related with the electrical fuse. So in the normal working condition, as far as the electrical fuse is concerned of the electrical network, the current flowing through the network within the rated limit. If the fault occurs in the network, mainly that is phase to phase short circuit fault or phase to ground fault means one conductor is connected with the ground. So it is not capable to feed a uh, power to the particular component which is to be connected with that phase. Then the network current crosses crosses its rated limit. This high current may be a very high thermal effect which cause a permanent damage of valuable apparatus or valuable pieces of the equipment that is connected with the electrical network. So this fault current should be interrupted as fast as possible. This is what an electrical fuse does. A fuse is a part of circuit which consists of the conductor which melts easily and breaks the connection when the current exceeds the predetermined value. An electrical fuse is the weakest part of an electrical circuit that breaks when more than predetermined current flows through it. Usually in our general practice when the wire will melt or burn out we can accommodate Another wire which is higher thickness that is counted as a bad practice. So the function of fuse wire is to carry a normal current without excessive heating but more than the normal current when passing through the wire rapidly that heats up the metal. Usually the material used for the fuses are mainly tin, lead, zinc, sometimes silver, copper, antimony, aluminum, etc. There are general ratings of the fuse depending upon its specific resistance and the melting point. However, if you can consider one of the basic aspects of copper, the melting point is 2000 degree Fahrenheit and its specific resistance is 1.72 micro ohm into centimeter. Likewise, you may find in the literature in the, in the book that there are certain specific resistance and the melting point limit of various another metal which is used as a fusing element. There is one more important aspect that is current rating of the fuse. So it is the maximum value of the current due to which fuse does not get melt. However, there is a ratio of minimum fusing current and the current rating of the fuse is also known as 
फ्यूजिंग फैक्टर रिमेम्बर दैट फ्यूजिंग फैक्टर इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन वन वन मोर टेंडेंसी यू मे फाइंड सर्ट एंड फ्यूज इन सम ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन इन द लेबोरेटरी पर्टिकुलरली इन द इंजिंग इंस्टीट्यूट आई हेव सीन इट एंड आई ऑल्सो सीन इन सम पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसिस वी आर हैविंग द इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ द फ्यूजेस इन द टॉप ऑफ द मशीन लाइक ब्लैक स्मॉल कैप वेर यू कैन इंसर्ट द फ्यूज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द करेंट कैपेसिटी देर आर सर्टन ड्रॉप ऑफ द फ्यूज सो दे हैव टू बी रिप्लेस आफ्टर ईच ऑपरेशन मीन्स वेन द फ्यूज विल बी बर्न आउट वी नीड टू रिप्लेस द वायर दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल्ड रिफ्यूजिंग इट्स ब्रेकिंग कैपेसिटी इज स्मॉल इट्स जनरलाइज स्टेटमेंट बट इन कंटेक्सट ऑफ द अदर डिवाइसिस दैट इज एम सी सी बी ई एल सी बी एंड एम सी बी रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड द इंटरलॉकिंग इज नॉट पॉसिबल If you need to go for the higher versions of the fuse, then we are having the concept of HRC, that is high rupturing capacity fuse. So, in case of HRC, this type of fuse, the fuse wire or element, can carry a short circuit heavy current for known time period. During this time, if the fault gets removed, then it is does not blow off. Otherwise, it blow off. The enclosure of HRC fuse. is either made up of glass or some other chemical compound to increase its rupturing capacity this enclosure is sufficiently airtight to avoid the effect of the atmosphere of the fuse materials the ceramic enclosure having a metal cap that has to be connected on both the ends of the fuse which is possible that fusible silver wire gets welded there is a space between enclosure and surrounding part where you may insert the brass end cap and the filling powder that is to be packed in the given space so this is what the diagram of high rupturing capacity fuse one more aspect that's what you have seen in your day to day life whenever you will enter at your home nowadays we are having the fusing mechanism instead of that we are having the mechanism that is what we call as a mcb or we can say miniature circuit breaker as far as the miniature circuit breaker is concerned ultimately it is depending upon the rated current now as far as the rated current is concerned for the miniature circuit breaker so first of all what do you mean by mcb mcb is the short form of miniature circuit breaker and it is automatically operated when the switch is used to protect low voltage electrical circuit due to high excess of current which is to be pass through the electrical network and that is to be fitted to the load they are typically rated up to 125 ampere or nowadays we are having the low current capacity of 100 ampere and high current capacity up to 125 ampere but the tripping characteristic normally not adjustable so breakers are illustrated above will be in this category this is for single phase this is for the phase with the neutral and this is for the three phase installations for the star connected network we may also connected one mcb for the neutral usually in day to day life the mcb will not protect from the uh, unbalanced load it means that mcb will trip at that time mcb will cut the phase but the neutral may be still alive due to unbalance of the load after having the discussion of the three phase supply you know that what do you mean by balanced load and what do you mean by unbalanced load uh, this is what the open view inside the uh, mcb uh, we are having the actuator lever then we are having the actuator mechanism it will force the contact together there will be a contact it will allow the current to flow when touching and break the flow of the current when moved apart we are having the number 4 as a terminal then we are having the bimetallic strip then we are having the calibration screw most important it will allow the manufacturer to preset the set of the drip current then we are having the solenoid then r divider and the extinguisher now the actuator level used normally manual trip and reset the circuit breaker usually it is black color or dark in color that we are going to turn on if the fault is removed otherwise it will not turn on however 
is sometimes referred as a pre-trip or positive trip operation. We are having a little bit uh, video in that. You may find certain videos in the uh, various YouTube channel that can observe the principles of the MCB. But before we can go with that video, I just want to focus on what is the basic difference between fuse and MCB. So nowadays instead of fuse, you may find the MCB in our local houses and the apartment where the MCBs are more commonly used for the low voltage network instead of fuse. Why? Because it is automatically switching off the electrical circuit during the abnormal conditions, both overload and the fault condition. Overload means we are drawing the current above the rated capacity of the uh, given load. The MCB is much more reliable in the detection of such condition and it is more sensitive with the change in current, so we are using it. As the switch operating knobs come into its off position during tripping, the faulty zone of an electrical circuit can be easily identified. That It means that if you can uh, say a practical example at your home, if a certain part is not yet to be electrified or yet to be electrified, in that case you may able to know that one of the MCB is tripped and that part of the house is out of the electricity. So you may able to find where the fault is. The handling of MCB is more electrically safe than fuse. MCBs can be controlled remotely where ELCB cannot control remotely. So this is what the basic aspect of a miniature circuit breaker it is used in our day-to-day uh, -day life. However, in the case of the miniature circuit breaker, we are having the another options where depending upon the phases, you may accommodate more number of MCBs at your home. This is what the short video I'm talking about. We are going to discuss the working principle of miniature circuit breaker. In a miniature circuit breaker, there are mainly three mechanisms to make the switch off. They are bimetallic one trip coil and one hand operated on off lever. In a MCB, current first enters through inlet power terminal to bimetallic trip, then to current coil or trip coil, then to moving contact, then to fixed contact, and lastly, current leaves through outlet power terminal. Here, you see all these are arranged in series. If overcurrent flows for a long time through this MCB, the bimetallic strip comes overheated and hence it is deformed. This deformation of bimetallic strip causes displacement of latch point. The moving contact with the MCB is arranged by means of spring pressure with this latch point in such a way that a little displacement of latch causes release of spring and makes moving contact to move for opening the MCB. The current coil or coil is placed in such a manner that during short circuit fault, the MMF of that coil causes its plunger to hit the same latch point and make the latch to be displaced. Hence, during short circuit fault, the MCB will open in same manner. Again, when the miniature circuit breaker or MCB is required to be switched off manually, the operating lever of the switch is operated by hand. When we do so, the same latch point is displaced and as a result, moving contact is separated from fixed contact and the MCB becomes an off position. So whatever may be the operating mechanism, means due to overload, due to short circuit fault or due to manual operation, actually the same latch point is displaced and same deformed spring is released and this is ultimately responsible for movement of the moving contact. A miniature circuit breaker is always provided with arc splitters. During operation of moving and fixed contact, there may be a high chance of arc and this arc goes up through the arc runner and enters into arc splitters and is finally quenched. When we switch on an MCB, we actually reset the displaced operating latch to its previous on position. Thank you. 
So these are the various methods of off mode and on mode considering all the components which is there in the miniature circuit breaker. So when the on mode will be initiated at that time LED will be on and the current will flow the spring will be energized as the current will flow from the latch we are having the current flow from off mode to on mode and with the energization of the spring some arc can be generated which would be quenched by the arc quenching mechanism our next component is what we call as a ELCB that is earth leakage circuit breaker the common problem what we found in the MCB that it will just cut the phase it will not cut the neutral so the function of the ELCB is to disconnect the supply instantly that occurrence of the earth fault so if my conductor is connected with the ground then it is the earth fault or it might be also a leakage current that is ELCB is protecting against the earth leakage current Although the body or part of the machinery may be earth, but even the best earthing will have the resistance that is greater than zero. So in order to prevent the leakage, the leakage current which may be results in buildup of dangerous contacts of the voltage that is needs to be installed and ELCB. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Thakar Ki Parshala. So today I will try to explain you about working principle of ELCB and how it actually works in the faulty condition. So basically ELCB is a protective device which gives protection against the earth current and is also used to save human lives from electric shock. So let's see how this thing actually works and prevent such hazard condition. You can see the basic circuit diagram of ELCB. This dotted region is the ELCB portion. It consists of a circuit breaker, relay, this is what we are introducing for the first time. This is not the uh, actual transformer, but this is the current transformer. What we have discussed in the class is the voltage transformer or a potential transformer. And a core balance current transformer, which is also called as a CBCT. I will talk about this later. And this is the test button by pressing which you can test the ELCB whether it is working or not. Apart from that, this is our line conductor, this is neutral and this is the earth conductor. This is the load which represents our household equipment. Let's take the first scenario in which everything works just fine. There is no fault. So, in this case, what happens is that the current entering from the line conductor will be equal to the current leaving from the neutral conductor. But the direction of both will be opposite. So, as per Fleming's law, the flux will use in the core. But as the magnitude is same and the direction is opposite, so they will eliminate the effect of each other. So there will be no residual flux in the core of CBCT transformer. As there is no flux, so no flux will link to the residual current sensing coil. So the current will not in, in this and system is working just fine. But if there is fault, let's say current is being leaked from the bare wire which is touching the body of device. So some amount of current which is entering from the line conductor will be grounded via earth conductor. So there will be difference in the magnitude of current entering and leaving coil. Hence, the difference in current will induce some residual flux in the core which then link with the residual current sensing coil and that current will work as signal for relay and relay will send operating signal to the circuit breaker and circuit breaker will interrupt the contact. Hence, we can prevent this type of faulty condition. The operating sequence will remain same if the human even touch this type of surface or bare wire. The amount of current entering body will make the difference to the outgoing current and we can save human lives. I think you have get cleared or doubt about working of ELCB. If you have any query or suggestion, so let now talking about the rated current for the ELCB we are having an international standard that is IEC 60898-1 defines that the rated current in the neutral of the circuit breaker of the household appliances as the current that the breaker is designed to carry continuously like the MCB and fuse also at ambient temperature of 30 degrees centigrade. The commonly available preferred values of the rated current are 
6, 10, 13, 16, 20, 25, 32, 40, 50, 63, 80, and 100 ampere respectively. The circuit breaker is labeled with the rated current in ampere but without the unit symbol A. That is instead of A, the ampere figure is proceeded by a letter B, C, D, K, Z that indicates that instantaneous tripping current that is minimum value of the current that causes the circuit breaker trip without any intentional time delay that is less than 100 milliseconds. And at the last stage we are having the MCCB where what we call as a disc breakers are mainly used for three phase circuit and ultimately this type of circuit breakers are usually having the large current that is to be drawn in the particular devices and it can extend up to 600 ampere. So MCZP that is modeled case circuit breaker is the highest modern technology where we can use in our day to day life to protect the equipments. So with this uh, I can end this uh, section of fuse MCB, ELCB and MCCB. I hope that you may get a close but introductory insight in the protective devices which is used in single phase and three phase system to protect the system as well as the load which is used in the household and the industrial premises itself. So thank you very much.